Hello everybody, it's uh, Jim again. Um, just an update, as you may notice from the um, placement of the <clears throat> uh, the uh, CNC unit that the um, we moved into the to the kitchen. I have to do this while my wife is shopping because uh, she's not quite uh, grasped the fact yet. Anyway, it's only a temporary location while I start clearing the area that uh, it will ultimately reside. Um, but there's a few more additions since the last uh, video we did. Um, obviously, just um, mounted the um, screen for the stepper motor driver board uh, on the post here temporarily. It's actually fixed with a, a rare earth magnet on the back quite a strong one and um, it allows me to position the unit anywhere I need just temporarily for this for this uh, test other things that have arrived Y and Z stepper motors and their associated uh, couplings these are a little bit smaller we don't have the same amount of weight to carry on this um, and these will form the the axes across the top of the um, of the unit which will make the um, motor drive the head backwards and forwards for alignment for the saw initially once that's done it stops and that's the job over with the y-axis for the saw configuration the, um, the z-axis sorry is used for this up and down motion that I talked about before which is here and that allows this to go up and down. Um, obviously it won't go like that. It will just go in small increments like that as it passes each step of the uh, cut process. So that, that's, the, that's the saw configuration. That's fairly well um, um, complete now. This needs uh, the Z axis will be fitted underneath here with a, a twin screw which will simply just notch this down it can be as a micro step uh, it doesn't you know it can be really 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 fine um, drop so that um, it allows very fine passes to be made by the saw and that and that doesn't put any stress on it if it's if it's cutting a very strong uh, tough metal then um, you know that's the sort of thing you need if it's cutting delrin you need to drop it a couple of steps each time and you probably cut it in three three or four passes such as the metal uh, material in fact I, I should think you could probably use this quite slowly uh, to cut straight through six mil Delrin um, so that's what's arrived this week in addition I had a little think about this and I saw a, a remarkable video by a gentleman um, whose name escapes me at the moment um, but it can it, it consisted of uh, the control of this particular type of board with uh, uh, an Arduino. This is an Arduino Uno you know, because that's what they were using at the moment. It's got a, a stepper motor shield on it. I don't need that. Um, it connects the digital ports from this into the um, stepper um, motor parallel port, and that allows programming to be done or you to run g-code from um, a program he's written excuse the background sound effects that's my um, my, my my mate Alfie here uh, who's actually noticed that mum's back have you see mum there these are the things the trials and tribulation of a of an inventor with a dog um, Anyway, um, so that's that, that's what um, the plan is to to actually run uh, a program, any program, which leads me on to the engraving side of the uh, the, the process. And that's something else I need is an engraver. It can be a drill, it can be a mill, it can be a very fine tip engraver. Uh, but I need to be able to engrave the tools that I make and other things, and uh, ideal situation. So for the sake of a n less than twenty quid, um, we got a whole whole uh, kit and caboodle to be able to control it from my laptop um, just a demonstration again we've seen the x-axis in action that's fairly um, obvious what that does backwards and forwards 
and again moving it didn't make any difference at all uh, here we see the the, uh, the other motors this is actually the Y axis it's just the way it's plugged in um, backwards and forwards and uh, the Z axis this one forwards backwards and again you can you can step it I don't think we we saw this in action you see the LED up there uh, this is the keypad and you can simply step it now we can also program it using these keys here to do a sequence of events uh, in series independent of any PC or any G code coming from uh, the actual uh, Mac 3 or any other software um, that's probably all I need it to do but if I want to do engraving and I want to get a JPEG or, or, or um, a DXS file that um, I can start it to engrave very delicate things um, such as my logo and other script then I'll need to to obviously uh, connect it to the laptop and that's the that's the reason behind using the world famous micro uh, computer uh, the Arduino I did I, d I can also use the Raspberry Pi um, but um, the jewelry's out on that one so that's it that's what we're up to today so just before my dog goes completely spare and destroys the entire planet in here when my wife comes back with the shopping um, we'll call it a day for now thank you see you guys later